In the previous video of plant physiology, we discussed about the biosynthesis of auxins. If you want to see that video first, click on the link above that slide scene. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the biosynthesis of gibberellins. First of all, let's see the precursor molecule for the biosynthetic pathway. The precursor molecule for this pathway is the geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate, which itself comes from another pathway that's the methyl erythritol phosphate pathway or simply we can say MEP pathway. We know that gibberellins have isoprenoid products as precursors. So the precursors for gibberellins are produced via this MEP pathway in higher plants and we also see this pathway goes in some bacteria also. Now let's start the pathway of gibberellins. The pathway starts from a precursor molecule geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate which is often found to be present in plastids. So we can say first set of reactions of this pathway occurs in plastid and then last set of reactions occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell as some enzymes of this pathway are present within the endoplasmic reticulum especially in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now let's see the biochemical reactions in plastid first. Here in the plastid the first biochemical reaction occurs when the geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate is acted upon by CPS enzyme and this is converted into ENT copyl diphosphate. The CPS enzyme here is copyl diphosphate synthase. Then furthermore this copyl is acted upon by KS enzyme chorine synthase and gets converted into ENT chorine. Now to make gibberellins from chorine the enzyme needed for this are present in endoplasmic reticulum especially in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the ENT chorine is transported out of the plastids to endoplasmic reticulum first. Here ENT chorine is acted upon by enzyme chorine oxidase and by this enzyme the ENT chorine is oxidized into ENT chorinoic acid and now from this chorinoic acid we will get the gibberellins. We see after that the chorinoic acid is further oxidized by chorinoic acid oxidase into gibberellic acid 1, 2 or we can say gibberellic acid 12. This is the primary gibberellic acid produced in this biosynthetic pathway. And it is the first gibberellic acid formed in this biosynthetic pathway in plants. Remember it. The gibberellic acid 12 acts as a precursor molecule for all other gibberellins. So to synthesize more gibberellins, the GA12 is transported to cytosol where it is oxidized into different gibberellins. So this is how the gibberellins are synthesized in the plant cells. To get the overview of this system, first some products are being produced in plasters, then they are being transported to the endoplasmic reticulum where they are getting converted into different biochemicals. So this is all about synthesis of gibberellins. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Thanks.